Hey, good evening, Sandeep. How are you? Very well. How about you, man? I'm good, thank you. Hey, first and foremost, uh, congratulations on your new job. Could you tell us a little bit more about uh, what you have achieved now? I started at Scaling, so EV domain, and uh, what it helped me is it gave me that sort of uh, learning and sort of skill set that helped me to apply to a place where I could have achieved my dream job. All right. So tell us about the title and where are you going to join now? Well, I just got as an executive embedded system at Mahindra, Bangalore. Yeah. So right. none of would have been possible without the skills that there are being mentioned. Sadi, just tell us about your, uh, yourself. Say. Tell us about your journey. So what were you doing before joining Skilllink? And uh, how did you know about Skilllink? And uh, what did you choose this course? One fine day, I just thought that maybe I should go for EV domain, something that I, I was aspiring since mm-hmm. I was in my bachelor's grade. So while I went to internet, I, I the very first thing that I found was Skilllink. The best part mm-hmm. is that Skilllink kind of uh, made that process, don't thing and everything that uh, went after that easier. I have only one regret while joining Skilllink and that is that uh, I should have joined Skilllink earlier, not this late. So you mentioned that you had a, a passion for EV. So uh, how was the transition? So could you describe a little bit about your previous role and uh, uh, how the course has helped you to transition into purely in the EV domain? First, I'd like to begin with my bachelor's grade only. So okay. during my bachelor's, uh, I didn't get to learn the two skill set in first place. Forget about EV domain, but mm-hmm. skill set that can make me employable or at least can make me better. What what I got here, the transition is that I, first I got to learn the tool and mm-hmm. then afterward while learning tools, I got to learn the skill set. The best part, whatever tool I wanted to learn was uh, was there at Skilling. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's say for instance, I wanted to learn GT Suite for instance. So mm-hmm. it was there, uh, that was closest uh, relevant to HTV and I got to learn things uh, that I, that made me better with 1D simulation. I got to mm-hmm. learn uh, model based design using those two so the yeah. transition has been i never felt that i'm transitioning i just felt that it was so smooth that it was not uh, not even a transition for me thanks for that uh, thanks for sharing that so could you describe the uh, impact of uh, skilling that has had on your career and learning because you mentioned uh, i i feel that you are pretty focused because even before you started the course uh, you kind of narrowed on this is what i wanted to do so could you uh, share with us the impact the overall course there's has quite a few, there, there's a quite a few thing i would like to say yeah. uh, prior to joining skilling yeah i was looking to get a job in ebido okay startups i used to feel like yeah i'll, I'll apply here or there i used to send application and i used to check my mailbox but there was nothing there was no mm-hmm. response there was not there was hardly anything frankly mm-hmm. but uh, uh, once uh, once I just post this post, then there was one post I got first. It started with MATLAB, then it started with Simulink, then it went to EV, then it went to battery technology, then the project that I got to do. It's not only the confidence that I got, it's not the skill set that I got to learn, but it's the attitude that uh, made me uh, a better person. And that was also uh, because of the surrounding that I got mm-hmm. at Skilling. So now I see my mailbox and every day it's happening. It's, it's yeah. a happening thing. Hey, uh, thanks for sharing that, Sandeep. Anyway, um, I, I feel that you've been a bit resilient. Uh, I would say uh, you have been resilient because the moment you apply for jobs and you don't see any email activity, that in itself could be depressing. So uh, tell us something. It's like, how did you get, to, get through this? You're strong enough, but th- sometimes there is too much of white noise around you. And you mm-hmm. tend to believe that. So mm-hmm. what I did is, uh, whatever white noises were there outside, I just did what I what I did is that I just kept it outside. You know, all the all this little thing, all this thing that I wasn't getting at my mailbox actually pushed me to opt mm-hmm. for this course. Thanks, Adit. So could you tell us a little bit about the specifically about the technical support you received for all these courses? Well, technical support has been amazing. Oh, the first course started with ANSYS. At that point, it was very necessary for Skilling to uh, just give that sort of uh, knowledge or skill set while people were at home. 
the best part was that uh, technical sub, uh, support staff were always reachable we also had a whiteboard session whenever people had doubt or mm-hmm. we had we we uh, we had a session arranged uh, on particular topic when mm-hmm. we had it the support was relentless uh, so that was something that i will always be thankful of otherwise i wouldn't be here speaking to you thanks adip so you mentioned about how you were uh, the support you got when you were an online student and then how your support was when you are present at the skilling so while we are discussing that uh, could you dis- uh, describe a little bit about your experience at the skill center and especially we would like to hear how different was the skill center experience from your college uh, experience you don't ask that question how is it different from university you can never match that you can never match that sort of uh, support nor that sort of surrounding no the learning you can never match that the surrounding at skilling is something amazing very amazing it's quite relaxed it's quite amazing and uh, people can can come at uh, any time and use the skill center and can stay long as long as they want until mm-hmm. the that uh, apartment is shut uh, people mm-hmm. can stay as long as they want uh, till they get their work done i'm a person i myself have done it before you have a problem just go to your support staff support yeah. staff come to you sit with you sort your problem out you have a problem yeah. again go to them you have problem in your technical understanding you have a session arrange comparing it with university uh, and college i will say that this was best because i have i have heard about matlab yeah. as a programming software at uh, my college Okay. And once I heard programming software, I just did bother saying it. Okay, mm-hmm. being from an automobile field, I right. didn't bother myself with it. But you know, when you realize that this is important, then mm-hmm. you tend to do it. At first, I was like, okay, this will be difficult. But no, it mm-hmm. wasn't difficult. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. And why it yeah. was amazing? Because those difficult concept, those those complex thing was was broken into. smaller simple simpler thing and that made it easier and what mm. i actually uh, like is uh, you learn specifically about your domain you don't need to learn uh, why matlab is used in other field you need to mm. understand why why matlab is particularly used in your field mm. and i learned matlab in my application and something that i literally like because it, it kind of made things simple for me now if i make my resume i have mm. confidence in making my resume because i have confidence in the project that i made i have mm. confidence in in writing mail i have confidence yeah. in writing sir testing so that is the thing that uh, sort of created that difference right thanks adit thanks for sharing that um sadeep could you also uh, describe your experience with the career support team in terms of profile building and uh, any other support uh, that you got in your time skill at times customer team were were all also helpful when i asked them not when mm-hmm. they felt like going uh, out of the schedule but when mm-hmm. i asked them uh, you know uh, navin uh, can you just uh, go through my resume what he did is he took that sort of uh, pain to just go through my resume and just give me that sort of uh, thing that what i should uh, improve on be it uh, him or kishore sir and in fact you yourself so mm-hmm. you you guys were uh, always helpful in that uh, regarding profile building I, i always thought that my profile was better than all those thing but mm-hmm. but that of uh, uh, minor tweaking those thing that i needed to add upon those were the thing that i got to learn for, from the session itself so mm-hmm. i think that uh, that helped me immensely because now i think my profile is far more recognizable people reach me thank you sandeep so could you uh, describe a little bit about the linkedin process that you have learned just like how uh, your profile was and how did you use it to your uh, advantage i actually started profile building even before i met customer success it was like amateurish so mm-hmm. it was there so this linkedin process thing started on the day of orientation as with skilling i took the note from the day of orientation mm-hmm. and i started building my profile because on the day of orientation you guys spoke for around like one and half hour and those mm. one and half hour was really important for me to actually listen and understand 
the profile hmm. picture should be formal i did that and the second day my profile picture became formal the section that needed to be added down those were the thing that happened before and i started doing that hmm. so all those thing actually happened because of skilling from amateurish to a better profile thank you sandeep so tell us about the job application process for the current job that you got so how did it happen my linkedin profile was raised and mm-hmm. the project was raised and after that i was i was taken for interview there was one more interview that i gave before this uh, that happened because of skill league okay mm-hmm. and that was at tech mahindra the customer success team actually took uh, many pain and uh, held this interview form but there was some thing that i did not take a uh, good look of while going for interview i didn't consider for interview so mm-hmm. that is where i suffered and that was my project i always emphasize that whenever you go for interview you should know your skill but most of the times you are going to ask the asked upon your project mm-hmm. so projects were the telling effect in my selection Yeah, so throughout the interaction you mentioned about uh, you wanted to know about testing you wanted to know uh, how which one fits where so basically what you were saying to me is uh, not only it's about what i learn uh, it's also about why i learn so uh, throughout your conversation it uh, reflects that so in that context uh, so tell us about the projects that you do that skilling one of the most important thing is uh, why i learned certain thing is because whenever i used to uh, look at and you opening i used to see the job description detail mm. what were the things that were asked for instance gt sweet map garland auto sort these were the things that i used to know and those were the reason why i chose to do particular course mm. and do those particular projects okay so coming back to your question regarding the project work for instance i did this project of of highway lane changing assets using the map garland mm. okay and uh, then i conducted this model li loop testing and software in loop testing mm-hmm. to have that understanding of mill and cell and map guideline is a big, is a good is a big thing in itself mm-hmm. okay going through the job description i used to sometimes say that gt suite is also something that is needed mm-hmm. so what i did is i used to come ask them okay this is the thing that i need to do because i thought that doing this thing will not only make me uh, uh learn those tools but it will also give me exposure to a project mm. that is really important for me to do and those projects were uh, really uh, on on par with industry thanks sandeep so sandeep uh, in that context um of doing the projects you also mentioned that during the interview you turned the conversation towards more focused on the projects and that gave you uh, a lot of things to talk about correct uh, yes actually uh, ramani what happened is while i give my first interview mm. okay i was asked on my project mm. okay what i did wrong was i learned everything mm. i like for two days i prepared on everything mm. but not project mm. okay so from the moment go i was hit with my project right so uh, so i uh, this projects are really important to know why we have that requirement what mm. is the output what is mail mm. what is sale how did you implement and mail why this coverage is important so those were the thing that are asked based on your project it's not what's coverage analysis why did you use coverage analysis in your project okay what uh, feature did you use for say mm-hmm. adaptive cruise control mm-hmm. so those were the thing that were from a course uh, only so i was mostly asked on a project on in both the interviews thanks sandeep thanks for sharing that so you mentioned about a, a lot of things uh, sandeep so first and foremost before joining skilling having a clear vision of what you want to be and then continuously uh, doing a research on the job descriptions and then based on the job descriptions you uh, were researching is like what course should i take so it's a fair uh, robust process i would say uh, i really appreciate uh, your research and efforts on that so in that regard uh, what would be your message to other students so that they can maximize their learning and uh, land in it uh, while learning there will come a time when the patience runs out okay uh, thinking about jobs and everything but all it takes is you to one person is to have that will strong and needs to stand firm in whatever he does just keep white noises away mm-hmm. and just focus on what you are doing 
on why you are doing that okay and at times do things that that is relevant to you not something that what other is doing because at times even i was tempted to do th- certain things but then again i used to think that uh, why do i need to do that so just trust the process that's it trust the process and everything will work yeah so now that you have uh, got your dream job so how are you planning to uh, keep uh, associated with skilling so you any thoughts on that so the very first thing is i uh, i got so much from skilling i also want to give uh, give certain thing back like the sort of things that i get to learn and i also love to give feedback from the interviews i myself love to be industrial expert one day and give that sort of training if maybe yeah you already are well on your way thanks for sharing your time today it's quite an inspiring story and uh, all i see is uh, an unwavering focus that you had and uh, i have seen often you leaving as the last person from the skill center uh, in in many evenings so that kind of we are not surprised when you uh, landed in some great job like this um, so well done and congratulations again and uh, we wish you all the very best for a bright future